and gentlemen, welcome to another fragrance review on the Robes Away channel. I'm your host, Mark, the fragrance guru, and today is a special day. This is a review that I've been sitting on for a long, long time. It's one of those special fragrance reviews that come once in a while on my channel that I get excited about. I kind of get uh, sad that I'm actually reviewing it. If you're a fragrance reviewer, you may relate with me. I have certain fragrance reviews that really do pull on the heartstrings. Um, the fragrance and I have really went on through a really great journey together as far as the testing phase go. Um, this one is that particular fragrance. I just absolutely am. Um, I'm not upset that it's, it's you know, the review is going to be on YouTube, um, but it, it's just that testing phase. I don't want to let go of the fragrance. It kind of feels like that when the video is on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to give you guys straight up, I'm not going to hold my punches. Sometimes I usually, you know, kind of hold back and tell you guys exactly what I feel about a fragrance maybe later in the review. This thing is an absolute jewel in our fragrance game. Um, I'm telling you right now, this is artwork in front of me. This is artwork. Um, a lot of fragrances out there, and I'm going to go on a little tangent here in this fragrance review. Why not? It's my channel. <laughs> um, some fragrances just, they don't propel um, any sort of imagery. And what I mean by that is, is just it smells good. Um, there's a lot of fragrances out there that just smell good. But once in a while you stumble upon a fragrance that really just paint a picture for you. And I, I know a lot of you that are really deep in this hobby will know what I'm talking about. There's certain fragrances out there that just paint a picture. Um, the scent itself just really just paints everything. You can close your eyes and, and just picture something. Um, this fragrance right here, Avignon, um, maybe not a lot of you know I'm Catholic. Um, it just brings me back to what I'm thinking about incense. And when I was a, a kid, obviously I, I'd go to a mass, I'd go to church, and my my brain is wired in my nose. My only uh, real, um, I would say, my own real uh, recollection of what incense smells like is when I was young and I went to church. Um, and if a lot of you kind of have that same kind of upbringing or have that kind of memory, um, it's strange that uh, something like this can bring me back to something way back then. Um, and that's kudos to Comme des Garçons. Kudos to Bertrand de Chafoud, which is the nose behind this. I'm really kind of hitting the imagery, the artwork in a fragrance, and kind of hitting it out of the ballpark. It's exactly what they wanted to say about this fragrance. This is supposed to emulate um, incense. It's supposed to emulate the Catholic Mass, and it just hit it out of the freaking ballpark. Um, I have that, you know, that's a, a part of me in, in my life, and instantly when I smelled Avignon, it brought me back to that. And that's where fragrance goes into more of an art form than just uh, smelly juice. <laughs> this is one of those that kind of balances it itself out to, you know, smells great and also bring its artwork to you. You can smell it and kind of dissect it and go, holy crap, what did they do with this stuff? This is absolutely great. Um, this juice, has tons of positives, tons of positives I have to say uh, about it. Um, pricing is a great factor. This You can find this for under $100 retail. Um, that's uh, basically the stu this stuff is absolutely amazing. For under 100 bucks, you, you can't go wrong. It's from a house that's very much available. Come think up songs available across the world. Um, really art artwork. So let's get into the review before I start babbling. I could talk about this fragrance, just not even dissecting the fragrance, just talk about it as an introduction to it for a good 20 minutes. And I need to stop myself before I start blabbing. Um, so this is the <laughs> this is the industry standard for frankincense-based fragrances. Start here and work your way out. Um, if you are a subscriber of mine and you ask me, hey Mark, I really want to get into the nitty gritty of incense based fragrances. I've never smelt, you know, any incense based fragrance and I really want to get into these high end niche incense based fragrances. I want to start getting into it. This is where you would start. This is your industry standard of incense. You will know what incense sticks smell like after smelling Avignon and then kind of work your, gradually work your way out, um, you know, to something a little more complex, something that the nose that made this made an absolute stunner, uh, something that has way more complexity to this. Again, I'm not pooping on the complexity of this fragrance because it is kind of linear and it really only has that one idea, 
but there's a lot of complexity in this fragrance to really kind of give you that general idea. Um, but something like Jubilation 25, which is the guy that Dishifu made this, he made Jubilation 25. Jubilation 25 is on another life form as far as an incense based fragrance. It has that complexity. It's got more than incense going for it. Not saying that this is just an incense based fragrance. It has a lot more going for it, but it really kind of just gives you the general idea. So this is your industry standard for fragrance scents based fragrances. If you're just starting out, you're watching this review, I'm making a whole lot of sense right now. Go and get yourself a sample of this. Now the incense series that Come de Garçon introduced is based on the five primary sp spiritual uh, teachings. Avignon is based obviously on Catholics and that is uh, part of my religion. So the Catholic Church. So this is where uh, I want to see if it's going to be obviously very uh, much from what my upbringing was, which it was. Um, this fragrance really just knocked it out of the park. I'll tell you that right now. Um, the fragrances from these, from this series also are named after cities that are significant from those teachings. Um, so that's really interesting. I love when fragrance houses kind of do this, kind of give a story to it. Um, Avignon is a city south of France. It was very influential uh, Catholic center back in the 14th century. So that's really interesting to really kind of grasp that, that the name itself was actually a city in France and it actually has that everything's tied together. This scent um, in particular, Avignon is not only artwork in my eyes, but at the same time, it also smells great. So it is definitely some great smelly juice, but not only that, but it's also something that I would put on a pedestal and saying, this is probably one of the best in the genre, one of the best from Comme des Garçons. Um, artwork, yes. Um, it's one of those that kind of make your jaw drop and go, holy crap, how did the Perfumier do this? Um, this is one of those fragrances that kind of goes both sides. And I know a scent like this is not for everybody. I know there's going to be comments down below saying, I couldn't stand having you, I don't like it. Um, it really is almost to the, the daring side of things. And that's where artwork comes into play. Um, it's not going to be artwork for everybody. Um, or it's going to be artwork in some people's eyes, but not wearable for certain people. I'm in the same, I'm in the boat that it's, it's a double-edged sword for me. It's, it's wearable juice and not only that, but it's artwork. So every time I wear it, it's just, <laughs> so, uh, Avignon, let's get into it a little bit more. Hit the shelves back in 2002. Perfume, the nose behind it is the man, one of my top perfumiers in the game, Bertrand de Chafour. Um, he is a master when working with incense. Um, case in point, the bottle that's staring at me right now. Not only that, of course, Jubilation 25, the complexity of that fragrance, the, the way he worked the incense in this fragrance, absolute stunner. If you haven't checked out Jubilation, check out my 40 minute review on Jubilation. Um, it's an, a stunner. Um, he, had, he also has done Kyoto from the incense series also, which I'm going to be reviewing. So Kyoto is next for the incense series for me to review. Um, he also has done quite a few Comme des Garçons fragrances, namely also Sequoia, which is a, a great fragrance from Comme des Garçons. Also another incense-based fragrance that um, Bertin de Chafour has done is Timbuktu for L'Artisan Parfumant. So a lot of great incense-based fragrances out there, um, a lot from the actual brand of Comme des Garçons. Bertin de Chafour, a master at what he does. So guys, let's get into uh, bottle sizes, pricing, and all that good stuff. Now Avignon comes in one bottle size only. What you see here is what you're going to get. 1.7 ounce, 50 ml. Um, it is an eau de toilette concentration. Pricing, this is the best best part of these Comme des Garçons fragrances. They come cheap, uh, around $80 to $100 to get Avignon. I believe I got mine for $80, but I think the pricing went up to around $90 right now. Um, retail. It's a steal for under 100 bucks. That's all I got to say. Um, currently, there's obviously no flankers to this fragrance. So let's take a look at the box in the bottle. And the box itself, very straightforward black. It says Incense Series, of course, Avignon Series 3. About fair. Nothing at the top or sides. Um, in the back, we got some information. And at the bottom, we got the barcode. Now, bottle itself has some weight to it. Really nice. Obviously, it almost looks identical from the box here. Series 3 Incense. The chromed out cap, nothing at the bottom, and we got some information right here. Um, Pop in the top again, very much a just a regular cap, not much to it, not very thick. Sprayer, uh, nice black sprayer, and 
Ooh, nice scent cloud. I love it. Very, very much uh, in control of your scent cloud. I love it. Now let's go split screen. Let's take a look at the notes of Avignon. And as you can see, pretty busy fragrance. There's a lot going on. And uh, really, you're getting a little bit of everything in here. Obviously, this is going to be a mirror and frankincense-based scent. So major notes to my nose, frankincense, mirror are going to be huge factors here. Um, there's going to be a lot of woods, too. Oh, my God, a lot of woods in this fragrance. Vanilla, there's quite a bit of vanilla, too. Um, but all these notes that you're, sit you're seeing here, you're going to get a little bit of everything, a little bit of punch from everything here. Complexity um, with this one. Very, um, if you blink, you're going to miss the complexity. You're going to say, this is very linear. There's only just like, it's just an incense-based fragrance. you got to really dissect this fragrance. You're going to see a lot of different uh, things from this one. This one's a beast, guys. <laughs> now, group, this is an oriental woody fragrance. How many sprays and where? I go very much, I, I don't go very liberal with Avignon. I like less is more for me. One on the chest, two on the neck, pulse points. I'm good to go. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I sneak two, two more sprays just for fun, just, just for my personal fun. Um, I love this fragrance so much and it's not going to hurt. Um, the price point for it, you know, under a hundred bucks for a bottle. If I waste a couple more sprays on me, um, pff, I don't really care. I'll just buy another bottle, but this stuff, um, three sprays, three to five sprays, you are set. So let's sniff out Avignon. Now the fun part, time to spray some Avignon. I get get to wear some of this tonight. This is uh, the fun part of the game. Two sprays. The sprayer is really good on this one. Um, oh, the incense. Love it. Oh, the smokiness. Oh, this one. Oh, man. All right. Take me. Now, the aroma. <laughs> the aroma of pure frankincense fills this room right now. It's filling this room from first spray, immediately bringing me to my childhood, Sunday morning mass, sticks of incense burning in the background. Picture this. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of imagery. I'm usually really bad with imagery, uh, but we're gonna try it. Picture this. Old, cold, dusty, stone cathedral. Now, of course, the church that I was going to, not really that picture, but let's go, let's go France, let's go old school, Really huge, old, cold, dusty stone cathedral. Let's keep going with dusty. <laughs> old, dusty wooden pews. Huge open space, of course, huge, huge, uh, of course, church. Marble flooring. There's books sitting around, so you got that smell of, of, uh, of, of course, paper. Uh, incense sticks. Now some burnt, some, you know, it's got s some resin at the bottom, right? Some incense sticks have been burned, you know, that cold incense smell, but you also have some freshly burnt incense sticks getting burned. You got candles burning in the background. Um, this is that kind of imagery. Everything I've just told, that I told you right now, bringing me to that image. Now, from the top of Avignon, you know what you're going to get. You, it's on the box. It's telling you it's an incense-based fragrance. That's what you're getting. Um, this is what you're getting. It's an incense-based fragrance from top to bottom. Straightforward. Um, it's, it's very realistic and it takes you places. And that is a true sign of an outstanding scent. I absolutely love when scents actually take you places. That reminds me of being a jewel in the fragrance game. If a fragrance can take you places, um, art form. Plain and simple, um, this one does it. It's very realis realistic and it's gonna bring me to where basically a Catholic mass with incense burning, it just brings me that. Now, the beginning of the set, let's start kind of dissecting the sucker. It's dry, um, very dry, very warm. Um, it has that cozy, um, really uh, comforting type of smell to me. I mean, it really has that dry warmness, realistic incense, mirror. There's some labdanum in here, really good, a dark combo. It will feel resinous. It almost feels like, you know, the, um, the incense sticks, some of them are cold and kind of ashy at the bottom. You know, it hasn't been cleaned up, but there's still some fresh incense kind of burning. That's what it, it kind of has that ashy, resinous kind of feel to it. It's dark. It has a somber feel to it all also. 
And what is mostly missed in a lot of reviews of Avignon, when I go online and I look at reviews of Avignon, there's a lot of, this one thing that's getting missed in all these reviews is the dusty aspect of this set. Now this, um, another fragrance that has kind of like that dusty aspect, that's, it's, it, it's strange and it's hard to really describe on camera. Louds des Marocain also has that dusty appeal to the fragrance. This has it, it has that dusty, and that's why I keep saying, you know, a, a dusty pew or wooden pews or a dusty cold, dusty old cathedral. It has that feel that it, it, it has some, I don't know, like uh, some age to it. That's how it feels. And this is what this fragrance kind of gives you. When you start smelling some woods, the rose wood kind of comes out of this one in the intro and it kind of really brings you, and I keep saying the wooden pews in the scent uh, from, you know, church. Um, it really does kind of give you that, that imagery. You can smell the pews, the wood, the stones on the wall. Yeah, you can smell those, the burning incense, the mirror, um, everything. <laughs> it's simply great. Um, it's smoky, it's resinous. Um, burned incense, dry smoke, sticky dark resin. You, you can also smell the dusty wood and the cold marble flooring also. And for a minute, if I close my eyes, I can also see the stained glass windows from an old church. Yeah, why not? Let's throw that in. But uh, in all honesty, um, really just brings you places. That introduction, um, great. Uh, a lot of these notes kind of to the fore, the incense and, and mirror to the forefront, but all these other notes kind of meshing to that, together and giving you that imagery is outstanding in the top. So now let's go into the dry down of Avignon. Equally great, but toned down. Now the dry down, the patchouli comes up here to give this fragrance some greenness to it. Um, the vanilla comes and goes. It's not a major player, the vanilla, but it gives a little pinch of sweetness. Not, you know, it's not going to be a sweet uh, fragrance at all, but it has a little bit of sweetness to it. It's a, almost like a, a dry vanilla chamomile uh, combo here. It kind of gives you like a dusty sweetness to it. It softens the edge in this fragrance uh, quite a bit. Now in the dry down, Avignon softens up quite a bit. So the whole scent itself, the introduction is a wallop of incense and it really is going to attack the user. If you don't like incense, you're going to get choked out. But uh, if you love it, you, you love incense, give me more. Um, obviously it softens up a little bit more in the dry down, but um, it still envelopes the user with that smoky incense base that I absolutely love in this fragrance. From top to bottom, um, Avignon hardly moves uh, as a fragrance. It comes off linear, and you're going to see that in a lot of reviews that this fragrance is straight up incense from minute one to minute 40, or minute 40. That's not a long lasting fragrance, is it? <laughs> Minute one to the end of the fragrance, some people are going to say it doesn't move much and it's only an incense based fragrance. Dig deeper, obviously, um, you're going to see a lot more from this fragrance than just incense, but it is very much linear. You won't receive much movement during its time on your skin, but that's all right with me. And of course, many users of this thing. You see the reviews, so, so many people think that this is a gem in the fragrance game, and I am on board. Um, really outstanding juice. Now let's get into my final take on Avignon. Now my final take, let's start it off with recommended age. Avignon, um, if you love incense, anybody can wear it. Men, women, this is a unisex fragrance. If you like incense, you're gonna be pff, in love, blown away. You're gonna buy a bottle. Um, recommended age, I would go 20 and up just because of the boldness and how daring this fragrance is. It's not for everybody, um, but I don't know if it's, is it a unisex? I believe it is based as a unisex fragrance. Women and men can wear it, but to 20 and up would be my recommended age. Bottles, what does it remind me of? Um, Full Incense by Montal. Um, Timbuk 2 by L'Artisan Parfumal, the same nose, obviously. Um, Timbuk 2 is a way different fragrance than this. It doesn't smell alike, but if you like incense-based fragrances, Timbuk 2 has a very clean incense and really a complex fragrance, obviously, from De Chiffour. One that you must check out, by the way. Um, also, this is compared to Cardinal by Healy, Mr. James Healy. Um, all these fragrances that I've named are not in the same ballpark as this. Um, <laughs> they're not as far as incense goes this is this is the your like i said earlier in the review this is your standard um this is where you got to go for incense awards has it been in any of my top 10 list um this fragrance uh, when i was looking at my top 20 list i thought it was in more i really absolutely love this fragrance i wear it all the time it's always in the lineup unfortunately as a top 20 or top 10 fragrance it hasn't shown it's 
his face that much. We got to change that. But it did make my uh, niche top 20 winter in 2010 at number five. Um, I absolutely love wearing this in the fall and winter, mostly fall, which surprised me for winter, but it does have enough balls to it that it can go in through these Canadian winters very easily. So it has been on my awards list. A fragrance as great as this cannot be not be on an award list. Uh, best time to wear this fragrance. Perfect when the snow is on the ground near Christmas time. I love wearing this. It just reminds me of obviously Sunday church and of course Christmas mass. Um, but around Christmas time or fall during rainy days or nights. Overcast, um, fall, oh beautiful, beautiful seasons. Fall, winter, um, cool rainy spring nights when the stars are out. Gorgeous, beautiful. Um, anything that is just cold enough that you have to wear like a sweater or a coat. Mm, Avignon, you're good to go. Compliment factor. You guys know me. Compliment factor is not the end all be all of a fragrance review. You can get a shitty compliment factor and you're gonna get a 10 out of 10 out of me. Now, saying that, compliment factor in this one, eh. Again, a lot of people that have worn this or own a bottle and I've worn a lot of Avignon, like I have, know that there's lovers of this kind of stuff and there's haters of this kind of stuff. Um, I've had both, a lot of scents, you know, they, there's, there's no perfect scent. They all have their good and bad. Um, some work better on certain people, certain seasons. You wear it right, you wear it wrong. You wear too much, too little. Um, that always goes into the common factor. Depending on who you're around, people will tell you what to what. And for me, people are very much, um, they're not gonna hurt my feelings. That's what I do. A fragrance reviewer, you tell me if you hate it, and they will. So, middle ground, common factor. It's not bad, it's not high. Um, it's one of those that if you're buying this, you're probably buying it for yourself. You're not going out there to be Mr. Petty Dropper. No, that's not going to happen here. This is one of those that's just something for you. Now, a few more things I want to talk about with Avignon. Now, uh, a few things, uh, oh, of course, while testing it, has happened to me. Avignon works on me when I want to concentrate on something. Funny enough, when I want to concentrate, when I'm working or studying or, or, or I, w I want to do something like that and I want to concentrate, this is one of those fragrances that I'd like to wear and it helps me concentrate. Also, at the same time, if I want to relax, you know, if I'm stressful and, you know, I'm getting the stress and I just want to relax, put on PJs, um, Avignon is one of those that I like to, to wear also to relax. Um, not too many fragrances kind of hit those two spectrums. Um, but this kind of fragrance does. I mean, it really has that relaxing, comforting uh, type feel to it. I mean, it really does help me concentrate also. It's uh, a stunner. It's funny how some juices do that. Um, this fragrance is just perfection in a bottle. Anyone looking for an incense-based scent that wants to smell like Catholic Church, this is the one to get. It's not muddled by the notes. Nothing is muddling the incense here. This is what it's supposed to do. What it says on the bottle, on the box, and the description that Comme des Garçons has given this fragrance is 100% absolutely true. You're going to get what's on the bottle. It's not, you know, it doesn't have any notes kind of muddling it. Incense is not, you know, in the background. It's right, straightforward, in your face. And the mirror and incense really stand out on its own on this fragrance. And they're both beautiful in this fragrance. It's a work of art to my nose. It is. Probably not the most versatile scent in the world, but it's excellent. I believe that this one, uh, to be top three, even then, it might be the best from the house of Comme des Garçons. Uh, I'm not kidding. This is probably, it's in the running of top three. It's definitely in the top three of the, some of the best of the Comme des Garçons house. Also in the incense game, if you're talking about incense, this is going to be in the talks of being one of the best, um, depending on who you talk to. Um, this will be at least in everybody's top five. It has to be if you're an incense lover. Works very well during Christmas time, rainy, muddy days. Bam, this thing is great for that. Now also, I wanted to note, um, I prefer it on, on its own, but I know a lot of people that like to blend fragrances. This is one of those that's a, a, a good blend base. Um, first of all, it works absolutely 
great on its own as a just a singular fragrance and I am not a blender per se at all I love to wear just fragrances as they are I don't like to go take Avignon and spray a little bit of Aventus and try to get like some smoky incense pineapple combo going on um, no I'm not that kind of person but for people that like to blend this is one that would be great giving like an incense kick to one of your favorite fragrances um if you like that kind um this is great for that it can blend now why would you love it incense lovers man if you're an incense lover and you haven't even this is not even on your radar where have you been um it has a realistic smoky appeal to it um artwork daring um, if you love daring scents, you love fragrances that kind of give you, paint a picture for you, um, you must smell this. Why would you hate it? People that hate incense, uh, straight up, you're not going to like this fragrance. From first freaking spray, you're going to be like, this is disgusting. <laughs> um, it's one dimensional. Now, some people want, you know, they don't see everything that I see. They see incense straight through. Um, and they might not like that. They want something a little more complex that gives a little more oomph. There's more going on, you know, there's some sharing of the spotlight, we'll say. Um, so that would be a reason why you would hate it. Now let's get into the rating system. <clears throat> Split screen, let's go. Let's see if this is going to be in the Perfect 10 Club. It sure sounds like it. We'll see. So let's take a look at projection longevity. As you can see, projection, excellent. Projection of this fragrance, had no problems. Eight bottles out of 10. Very, very good. Longevity, another eight bottles there, another good score. Um, I, you know, I always look for the six to eight hours. This gives me a little more, seven to 10 hours every given wearing. Um, really, really good for longevity and projection. You can't complain, eights across the board. Let's take a look at versatility and smell. Versatility, it's gonna take a hit. It's gonna take a little ding here. Um, it's gonna get five bottles out of 10. Again, it all depends on where you live and what you do and, how you would actually wear this fragrance. You, you, you know, now that I'm in, you know, I, that I'm in Canada, I live in Canada, I get to wear this a little more often than most of you out there. So versatility, I'm gonna give it five bottles out of 10 just because it's not the most versatile fragrance and in, incense based. A lot of them just aren't uh, easy to splash on, we'll say. Smell, 10 out of 10. Um, I can't complain. This is an absolute stunner for the price. Pfft, Forget about it. And that goes to an overall score. Avignon, there was no doubt about it. You are going to be in the Perfect 10 Club. Welcome. I salute you. Um, this is something that you guys have to smell if you haven't smelled yet. And that goes to buy, try, or pass. This is my holy grail of a simple incense. And I throw that simple term quite loosely gotta say it's not as simple as people say it is but it is a simple incense based scent it's my holy grail of incense if i want to throw on incense this is the one i'm going with so buy try or pass this is an absolute buy um pricing um under 100 bucks uh, quality longevity projection um the artwork the nose behind this fragrance um, everything just check mark check mark good 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 um you just can't go wrong um this is an absolute buy you gotta check this out um amazing scent and you know what Funny. oh man my wife is gonna hate sleeping beside me tonight wearing oh yeah <laughs> Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Avignon. I'm sure a lot of you have smelt it. Own a bottle, sold a bottle, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Welcome it to the Perfect 10 Club in the comments if you wish to do so. And as usual, I'm gonna end this video with a lot of people from my FGN group. They had their own comments to say about Avignon. Let's go check out what they think about this Perfect 10 fragrance. Let's go.